Hello, this is Aldo from ExcelNinja.com. Today we're talking about pivot tables. Uh, this is an introduction to what a pivot table is and how it works. And I have to say that pivot table is probably one of the most useful functions in Excel that you can use to analyze and manipulate data. Let's say that you have your uh, uh, sales data for uh, your particular business and you have your employee number you have uh, details about the sales they've made, so when they've made it, in which uh, month, what day of the week, what kind of product and its sales value. Don't worry about too much about these numbers, there's random numbers, uh, so you know, that don't make much sense if you have a business in uh, selling PCs and laptops, but this is just for um, uh, basically an indication how to use, uh, how to create a pivot table. So as you, as you have noticed, the data is structured in a certain way, uh, all in columns like this, where each column we has a, we call it a category, it will be called a field in a pivot table. Uh, so the employee, the month, the day, the product, sales value, and here we have about, there's over 240 uh, rows of data. So this is really gives you an idea how easy it is to summarize, analyze, manipulate data, uh, a large amount of data with pivot tables. To create a pivot table, you need to select the range. So you go just there, you select the whole range that you want to summarize through a pivot table and then insert pivot table. And you can do a pivot table chart, but let's stick a uh, pivot chart rather. Let's stick with the pivot table, click on it, and it gives you an indication. Okay, well you're gonna, you can choose the data on which you want to, um, uh, that you want to analyze. We've already done that, and this is telling us where the data is. And then we can choose where we want to have it on a new worksheet, which I prefer, or an existing worksheet here, if you choose the location on where you want to uh, put the pivot table on. I click OK. And here you go. This is the blank pivot table, which we then uh, need to uh, basically input figures in. Uh, on this right hand side, you can see what um, what fields you have that you can add to the report to the pivot table, and where you can put them. You can put as a report filter, as column labels, a row labels, or summarize as values. Now, you will notice that if I click outside of that pivot table, um, it goes back to the original menu. If you click inside, it gives you the pivot table tools menu options. Uh, options in terms of what you want. You can select and et cetera, et cetera, and how you design it. I won't go into too much detail. Here, I just want to show you uh, how you uh, basically create a pivot table. So say, for instance, I want to summarize the sales by employee. So I'll put employee, uh, if, as you can see, I can drag, you can either click the um, employee field and it creates automatically the row labels, or I could have dragged it into this box with the row labels and would have done the same thing. And the other thing I want to see is uh, sales value, how much they sell. So again, I click this and this automatically, it uh, adds it to the um, this section of the pivot table as a sum. We can do different things with these values, but at the moment it, it summarizes it as a sum. Next, I want to see, so straight away, I can see that um, the highest selling guy is David, followed by, I can sort it, so up here as you can see, you can sort, so Z to A, and this is in the sending order of sales, so David, Steve, Paul, George, Mark, the sending order for a total of $233,000. I then want to see um, what products they sell, how they achieve their sales, so drag the product onto the column label, for instance. And here, it sort of highlights how the different guys achieve their sales, how much 
David has sold of laptops, how much is sold of PC, how much is sold of TV for his total. And at the same time, the average, uh, the sum for laptops as m for my business, for PCs, for TVs. As you can see, these uh, because they are created random numbers, they are all, these are almost the same. But imagine real business. This would give you a very good idea where your revenue is coming from. Now, I want to change one thing. I want to change the way these numbers are shown. So I want to put a, a um, basically a dollar sign in front, and I could easily do this by selecting the numbers and then just click on here as I, know, as I would normally do. I would go currency and then just reduce the numbers there and there you go. But what I would like to do in this particular case is to show you how to do it within the pivot table. So how you do it is right click here on the sum of sales values and then uh, Basically, you go to number formats, and this is how you can change it. And this will change it for the whole table. Now, let's say that you're really interested, instead of um, in a particular month, and you could just create a filter. And as you can see up here, it, what I've done, I've dragged it into the report filter. And here you have all the different months of a year and at the moment they're all selected and I can go so I want to know how much we sold in January I click like that and as you can see this is a filter and the same the information that was there before is now filtered by month so only January sales are shown here and as you can see for instance George didn't sell any laptops in January um, Paul didn't sell any PCs in January you can select multiple months if you want so for instance I want to be I just want to have a look at that um, at a quarter so first quarter there you go I select the first three months and here it tells me it's multiple items which I can see by going here and clicking on it but these are the sales for the one quarter now the information that you show here is a sum. Say for, in, say for instance um, you want to see the average sales on a particular day for your business. What I'll do, I'll get rid of the filter, so back to all and take it out. I'm not interested in employee any longer. I just want to put uh, the day as a raw label. And let's take out the product as well. So at the moment my business throughout the year is selling on Monday $33,000 um, on Tuesday $30,000 but this is the, the sum of everything. I want to show this as an average. What's the average month? Uh, what does the average Monday look like? So what I can do I change how the information is displayed and summarized in the pivot table by going clicking on the field right click summarize, summarize data by average as you can see there's a number of different things that you can do you can do a max you can do a min you, minimum you can do a count very useful to see how many times you sold on a particular day but I want to do in this particular case average so here you go this is my average the average sales value on a Monday on a Monday the average sales value of all instances is $900 on the Tuesday and this is the average not so much of the um, of the store but of the individual instances of sales so the average sale on a Monday is $900 the average sale on a Tuesday is $1,000. You might sell many items um, during the day but the average of the item is $1,000. So again this is a very powerful way for you to analyze and understand your business using um, using a pivot table. Another one that I want to show you is that okay I want to understand my um, 
month. So instead of there you go, I'm just showing my total sales for the store by month. So as you can see, it's um, in January I sell eighteen thousand five hundred. In March a high of twenty nine thousand six hundred, etc., etc. So here you can understand your seasonality, which would have been really difficult to understand just from the original data. You can do filters, etc., etc., but a pivot table is really a fast and easy way to manipulate data and get the answer you're looking for in a very effective way. As I said, this is the first um, tutorial on a pivot table. This is the basis of what a pivot table is. We'll explore pivot tables in more detail in other videos.